Today's game is coming to you live from Hexon, Texas at the raucous AK-47 Stadium, home of the $10 Bible, Beer, and Bullet Combo Meal. The crowd is armed, overzealous, and drunk, so basically a normal Sunday here in Hexon. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts from the MFL. The team storm the field. The micro-hard mutilators face off against the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still moving, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. First down. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage dirty trick transformed a player into a rampage. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and ten. Punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hot. Hot one. Hey. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Defensive players go berserk. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot.
Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and 10. Hot one, hot two, hot Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Third down in the offense. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Eight. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And 
And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hey. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Hey. And they run it for a couple of yards. And this game is up for grabs. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stuff them into the ground. Third down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. One, hot two, hot three. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. The defense saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on fourth down. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down in a mile. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't 
See any Chinese guys down there? You're a fucking moron. Second down in a lot. Man, what a hit that was. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, wish they could pee for me, too. I do. The defense called it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the cornerback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grandpa, to keep him coming back to him. And he gets three yards on that run. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and seven. Hot one. Hot two. Hot hot eight. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. <laughs> the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And they line up for the extra point. First and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright 
Set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strip tea show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. You can tell he's a first. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's that? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey! Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I'm born. I take all you mutants out. Yeah, that's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And 
and it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Oh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Third down and three. Just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. See that little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say it. You're too fast. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and more than the QB. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and five. Oh, with a punishing hit. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? Third down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Yeah, good time for I only we get out 
Third down and forever. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the QB. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say what the fu 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 fuck The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit And it's first and ten <laughs> Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball and misses target. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Second down and four. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Man, you think you can go toe to toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good 
should return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Well, at least he can set himself on fire. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Touchdown! Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roy Rage and have your revenge. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the, and that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First down and nine. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? <laughs> 
Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and two. for the touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. First and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least some. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that is caught for a first down. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I... And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. kick when in a hurry up offense the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock Oh, that was a big hit. 
Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after 20. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And the Oilers just got spanked. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.